We're going to hear from Jared in Crewe. Jared, how are you? Good afternoon, Mr. Burry. You've been getting some heat this afternoon, and <laughs> deservedly so. Well, deservedly so, I'd say. I'm a conservative, but never again. Uh, you talk a good game, but you don't deliver. I think we can safely say that because this has been going on now for about two, two and a half years, and you're just getting around to doing something which, to me, just proves how inept you are. You're always firefighting. You're not seeing ahead. Well, doesn't that prove sort of how tough it is to do things in Britain? Because we have tried, no, and no, it's taken. No, no, well, no. Let, 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 let me at least have a go at defending myself. We've tried, and it took you know months and months and months, almost a year, to pass this piece of le piece of legislation through Parliament. We eventually got it through. Actually, huge opposition from the Labour Party. They voted against it almost seventy times, I believe. Um, and it, it just takes time in this country to pass laws. We've now got some of the oh, toughest immigration laws, probably the toughest immigration laws this country has ever had, while at the same time doubling the fines for people who employ people illegally, bringing this barge to the UK and putting the first immigrant on there today, something I massively welcome, and pursuing the Rwanda policy. OK, we haven't got there yet. That's the courts, though, not the government, stopping that going forward, talking about the Ascension Islands. Surely that package together is a sign of Rishi Sunak delivering on his pledge to stop the boat. It's a good talk. It's all on paper. The people well, it's not talk. Public, there there is someone Mr. staying Mr. on the barge please. tonight. No, Mr. Mr. Berry, please. You've had a majority of 82. I mean, I've voted for you all my life. I mean, I re deeply regret it now, but you've had a majority of 82. You could have set the laws out a while ago. You could have got this through the courts a while ago. I mean, for example... Five years ago, they were coming across from Greek, from Turkey to Greece. Did you not think in your wildest dreams that they could possibly carry on and come across from France to to Britain? I mean, this is what you never you never look ahead. There's a problem now, and then you jump on it. I mean, you've just covered a story. Just covered a story on crime, and you're blaming the police and the courts. You stop blaming the institutions. You've been in power for 13 well, years. Well, I'm not. I wasn't blaming the police, but it was really interesting to hear from Norman, who represents a group speaking up for police. He said that it is the Crown Prosecution Service who won't prosecute. But going back to the issue we're talking about today, look, it's a well-worn sideline, isn't it? Sitting on on, on the edge and, and and talking about it's a well-worn path, talking about all the problems. The government's come forward with these solutions. You can only deal with things as a government when they come forward. Should we have done something two years ago? Yes, but actually all of this started a couple of years ago when we brought forward the Rwanda plan for the first time. But do you think what the government has done already that we're talking about today will put people coming off to this country? Because ultimately, it's not it's not the government inviting them over, is it? It's them no, choosing no, to no, come from Britain, from France. So do you think no, this package will put them off? Mr Berry, the yeah, simple answer to that is no, because they don't see it as, uh, are we too soft? They see you as too soft. They see the Labour Party as too soft, and they see the Liberal Party as too soft. The institutions are too soft. It's not the British people. We want something doing, and you talk a good game, but none of these things will be implemented. There are thousands of laws, and they don't get implemented, and that is on you for the past 13 years. Please start being a Conservative and do things. Well, Jared, I would say, I would say that we have been very Conservative by introducing all of these new measures today.